In December, Fort Bend Family Promise celebrated 10 years of service with the opening of a new day center. Board President Elizabeth Butler gives us an overview of the organization and the day center project. The mission of Fort Bend Family Promise is to meet the immediate needs of homeless families while empowering them to self-sufficiency. And we do that through a network of interdenominational congregations where the families spend the night with the congregations and eat dinner with them and then come back to the day center to head off to work or school or wherever they're, whatever they're going to do for the day. They also receive training and support services here um, and we're really excited about our new day center so we'll be able to provide those services much better. The facility at New Hope Lutheran, which is where we were before, uh, had really fallen into a state of disrepair. Uh, New Hope Lutheran has uh, actually been the incubator for many charities it, preceding Fort Bend Family Promise and things started to go wrong. We couldn't, for example, wash clothes and run uh, the toilets at the same time. So um, we, we make a joke and say that our homeless charity essentially was becoming homeless and we needed to look for another opportunity or another alternative. Um, the community came together and supported us and the New Day Center is a result of all that effort. It has a large area that is divided into family pods. There's washing machines and dryers. There's um, refrigerators where they can store their individual food, uh, microwaves where they can prepare meals, and all, of course restrooms where they can shower and get ready for the day. There's also office space and meeting space to support um, our administrative functions. So we plan to move into the new day center in January. So the first part of the quarter will be just getting settled and getting ready to run out of this new facility. But back in August we had a retreat and we identified some um, goals for the coming 2016 which we'll start really getting our arms around and start uh, executing in the beginning of the year. Um, examples of those would include um, trying to educate the community more about the issue of homelessness because folks in Fort Bend County don't see that as a problem and we, so we need to do some work in that uh, regard. And then also we want to talk about expanding our services across the river to Richmond Rosenberg area and we're going to have a, a, a team focus on that in, very shortly after 2016 starts. Later that weekend, Fort Bend Family Promise welcomed national founder Karen Olson, who shared her pride in all the group it accomplished and all it has yet ahead of it. I'm most proud of Family Promise because the way it touches lives through countless volunteers who care and make such a difference in the lives of families, from preparing meals, staying overnight, reading stories to toddlers, whatever they do, they show families how much they care and that caring changes lives. My hopes for the future for Family Promise is that there would be Family Promise affiliates in every community that has a need, that no family and their children will have to live in their cars behind the apartment where they last resided or a big box store, that they would be warmly welcomed into congregations to have home-cooked meals, safe shelter, and in the support of caring volunteers who help to change lives. Butler describes ways the community can get involved. Well, of course, we always need money. Um, we have on our website, which is www.fortbendfamilypromise.org, um, where you can join our coffee club. And what that means is that you give a little bit of money every month, essentially saying you're gonna give up your cup of coffee in your nice home for those that don't have necessarily have a home to have coffee in. So we have uh, Vente and Grande and Tall Levels. It's not a lot of money, but it helps us um, have some ongoing support that we can count on month to month. Um, also, we have large donors as well. And if you are a member of a congregation that doesn't currently support Fort Bend Family Promise, we'd love you to encourage them to do so. We can always use more both host and supporting congregations. For more information, visit their website at www.fortbendfamilypromise.org. For Stafford CSI, I'm Stacy Hawkins.